you are there and you Helene you are always having the thought something is just telling you walk out you are just hearing the voice the voice is just telling you just walk out you don't know where you are going to just begin to remove your clothes and begin to go mm. thank you come to be settled up. Man of God, please help me. I'm in a terrible mess, man of God. I feel like running mad. There is a man, 2015, when I was in school in Benin. This man took advantage of me. He's a prophet. So when I came back from Lagos, that was last uh, beginning of last month, man of God, I met this man at Ring Road. This prophet held my hand and said, I will never give up. That I will go back to his chamber. Man of God, out of fear, man of God. I ran to a, a, a Muslim man that I knew for a very long time. This Muslim man asked me what happened. And I told him to help me. That a man threatened me. Ever since the, the, the Muslim man asked me to bring money, I gave him one thousand naira, and he bought uh, eight eggs. He asked me to use it to rub my body and my vagina and drop it inside a native pot. And I dropped it ever since then. Fire all over my body. I feel like running mad, man of God. Man of God, please help me, man of God. My vagina every day, I can't sleep. In the night, I always have it, the thought of running mad. I almost, I cut my hair, man of God. Man of God, please help me. Man of God, I thank you in the name of God. I see, man of God. Man of God, please, man of God. I'm not like this before, man of God. Wait, I can't... wait, wait. Stand up, stand up, stand up. I'm not hearing you. Stand up. You, you said you met a prophet. Yes, that was 2015. Someone invited me to the church. It's a prophet. When I went to the church, he said that I have a marine spirit or something. I've never heard that before. So he asked me to come that they need to deliver me. Along the line, he said that God told him that I'm his wife. I don't even know what happened. Man of God, he took advantage of me. The, the following day, and I ran out of there. Ever since then, I've, I've been dreaming, seeing a lot of things in my dream. So I've been in Lagos working things with... like what? What do you see in your dream? In my dream, I always see him coming to my dream to make love to me back then. So when I came to uh, Bini, that was beginning of last month, I made this man swing road. He held my hand and said, he will never give up. That I will go back to his chamber. So out of fear, man of God, I ran to a Muslim man that I knew for a very long time. I explained everything to him and he said, the man is, is, a, is a delicate man that is going to kill me. He asked me to bring money to, to buy an egg. I gave him money. He bought eight eggs. After that, he asked me. To, uh, 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 he asked me to stay in the room and remove my clothes and use it to rub my body and my vagina, which I did. He said to naked yourself. Yes. Totally. Yes. He wasn't there actually. Okay. I did that. So after everything, man of God, he I put on my clothes. Then he, he came. He said, "Are you true?" I said, "Yes." Then he brought out two dog fowl. I used it to wipe my body. When I go home, man of God, my story he changed. He used what to rub the body? He used two big dog fowl to clean my body. Too big. Too big dog fowl, man of God. Dog fowl. Yes. He used it to wipe my body. He said, I asked, I said, what's the meaning of that? I didn't give you money for that. I'm not here for any assignment. I only came here to, for you to help me for prayer. He said, yes, he wants to know what has been going wrong in my life. Ever since I left that place, man of God, my story changed. I don't know myself anymore, man of God. I feel like running my man of God. I have bad my hair. I've gone to so many places. Man of God, please help me. It was my auntie that brought me a man of God. Man of God, please help me. My body always hurts me day and night. I don't sleep, man of God. <laughs> Where's the person that brought her? Come. Man of God, please help me. I don't know myself anymore. My vagina is always hot. That's my face. I don't know myself anymore. Man of God, please help me. <laughs> you don't know yourself anymore. I don't know myself anymore. Your vagina is always hot. Yes. So Why? My stomach, I don't know. Since, God, since After I used that egg in a Muslim mass place, this last month, man of God, please help me. Help me, man of God. I've gone to so many places. Man of God, help me. Are you a Christian? I'm a Christian, man of God. Okay, okay, okay. Thank you. You are welcome. 
people of God, you are in the house of a prophet of God. You were only praying when God gave me the message. <laughs> okay. Madam, how are you? Fine, thank you, sir. Okay. Who is this sister to you? She is my stepsister's daughter. Your stepsister's daughter? Yes. So why did you bring her here today? Okay. They called me this morning that uh, she was not feeling fine. That uh, I should take her to church. That is why I brought her here this morning. Uh -uh. The girl said she take her to church. Which church? No, it's my sister, my younger sister that called me. Said I should bring her here. I always worship here every Wednesday. Uh -huh. Service. Okay. So what is wrong with her? Did she tell you? No, uh, she told me some few things. That? This morning, we, when we were What did come, she tell you? Concerning uh, how... Uh, no, when she was uh, discussing the matter with me, I did not really listen to her because she was telling me inside the bus. Okay, yeah. thank you. Okay. So, you... Sister, you had a counter with a prophet 2000 and... 2015. And the prophet <laughs> said you have split husband, this, that, this, that. <laughs> yes, you sir. You need deliverance. Yes, sir. Uh -huh. Now, you now say you will come to, you come to the church. Yes. And then, you now say, did you say God said you are his wife? Yes, sir. Okay, and at the end, he took advantage of you and yes, he got to sleep with you. Yes, sir. And at the end, you didn't like it, you had to run out. Yes, man of God. Okay, and since then, you have been having some nightmares. Yes, man of God. Dreams. Thank you so much, sister of God. Okay, then, of recent, last month, I've been when you, you have been in Lagos, you have been bad dream. When yes. you get to be yes. and I saw the same prophet again. Yes, he held my hand, man he of God. Your hand. That he will never give up, that he will go back to his chamber, man of God. He will never, what, what's the name of his chamber? Your body is the chamber. Man of God. He said he will go back to his chamber. Yes, yeah, that he will never give up. Where is his chamber? I don't know. He's, they are altered. They... Mm. No, he's not the altar. He said he will never give up. He will go back to his chamber. Your body is the chamber. He wants to come back to your body and keep on. Uh... <laughs> That's his chamber. <laughs> See, many of you that are jumping here to here, you, you have to learn lesson because many of you, you create problems for yourselves. When you discover a place like this that is truly of God, you don't value it. Mm, some will be looking for vision, 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 vision. vision. You don't know God looking for vision. Eh? You don't know God looking for vision. You guys don't know he can help you. And at the end, looking for a solution, somebody took you to another. Uh -huh. Two powers now. Only you. So, sister. What do you say is happening to you now? I'm having hotness all over my body from my vagina to my head. I feel like running mad, man of God. Everyone, you heard that prophecy just now. You know? <laughs> okay, it's well with you. We don't do what we do because of you. We do what we do because it is God's divine assignment for us to execute. Thank you. Now, what are you doing for a living? I'm a worker, sir. Okay, thank you. Now, you cannot go to work now. You are not comfortable. No, sir. Okay, thank you. Can you get me the water of life? We just continue to watch your screen fade. Come, step forward. Okay, is... stay there. You're watching Jesus Christ using the tool of prophecy to bring deliverance, liberation, and all of God's blessings. Say this after me, son of David. Son of David. Have mercy on me. Have mercy on me. Thank you, Lord. Look here. Raise up your right hand. Now, everyone, just watch now. There is difference between light and darkness. She has been bloody rulership and manipulation of darkness now the light wants to shine now thank you now 
madam, come here. The woman that brought her, brought her your hand. Go and get, go and get. You have wristband? You don't have it in your hand? No, sir. Hmm. Okay, go and get one and bring it now. I will tell you that you, like I told you just now, everything you carry in your body now should carry God. Yes. When it carries God, nobody can threaten you. Use evil power to threaten you. I keep saying it that the world is full of wickedness. That's simple truth. So, but Jesus Christ is greater. And that's why the name of Jesus Christ plus nothing is enough. Yeah, the name of Jesus Christ plus nothing is enough. So, grace be unto you in Jesus' name. Amen. Don't worry, it's already blessed. Where did you get it from? From the Miracle Arena? Yes, sir. Eh? Yes, sir. Okay, thank you. Put it in her hand. You, put it in her hand. If you just watch your screen in faith, watch her receiving the anointed wristband. I'm too different to be a victim. Jesus Christ is separating her from every satanic torment she has been under. Leave there, madam. Thank you. Say this after me, son of David, have mercy on me. Son of David, have mercy on me. Okay, thank you. Put that hand on your chest now. Watch your screen in faith. Jesus Christ is using prophecy to bring deliverance, healing, and love his blessings. Watch your screen. She had an encounter with the false prophet since 2015. And she has been under satanic torment. But right now, Jesus Christ is about to separate her. She has been experiencing hotness. Watch her reaction. Hotness in her head, in her vagina, all over her body. But right now, Jesus Christ has come to separate her. Remember, it is the will of God for all to be saved, healed, and delivered. Watch her reaction. You can see her moving against her will. The power of Jesus Christ present in the anointed wristband has been transferred into her body, into her spirit. Watch deliverance taking place in the name of Jesus Christ. Remember the mention of the name Jesus Christ, every knee must bow and every tongue must confess that Jesus Christ is Lord. Watch her reaction, watch her movements. Watch the spirit of Jesus Christ moving through her to take away all he has not planted in her body, in her system that has been causing her discomfort. Watch her screen. Watch Jesus Christ glorifying himself right here in the divine grace of glory church. And this is prophecy bringing deliverance. She was figured out by prophecy and she's receiving her deliverance. Because are you in the same situation? Remember there is nothing too hard for Jesus Christ to do. Touch your screen by faith as you receive your deliverance and healing in Jesus name. Watch your screen in faith. Watch the power of Jesus Christ that has been transferred into her, overhauling her. Jesus Christ is causing her deliverance. Jesus Christ is causing her healing. Jesus Christ is correcting every mistake in her life. Watch her screen in faith. As you see her go against her will, she's no longer at ease with herself. The power of Jesus Christ is working behind the scene. Remember, wherever the presence and the power of Jesus Christ is, healing is sure. Deliverance is sure. Settlement is sure. Watch your screen as she goes against her wheels. Watch the power of Jesus Christ functioning. Down she goes. Watch the angels of heaven completing and performing deliverance on her. Remember when Jesus Christ heals you, he heals you completely. When he delivers, he delivers you completely. Watch the mighty power of Jesus Christ at work. Remember there is no other name bigger than the name of Jesus Christ. The name of Jesus Christ has been given to all men for deliverance, for healing and all of God's blessings. Watch the power in the name of Jesus Christ. Now you can see powers dealing with powers. Yeah. Just one power dealing with powers. The power in the name 
of Jesus Christ. That is on that anointed wristband given by P.I. Obaseke. Has delivered her. Yes. That's how it works. You see her legs, different vibration in different forms, in different parts. Now in the theater of the Holy Spirit. This tells you no matter the devilish power anybody use to try you. When you have this adultery band, the name of Jesus Christ is present. Anywhere you are, be confident. Never you allow atom of fear in your mind. It is only fear that can run your anointing down. Only fear will make the anointing here not to be effective. Fear. So all the torment she's been going through from her head to her feet, all the spell casted in her, look at everything is living. That thing they want to make her own mind, it will go back to where it's coming from. Yeah. Remember, God cannot give me this kind of grace and criticism will not follow. Because this is strange to many. That has been reading Bible for years. Those that can quote Bible from Genesis to Revelation, this one is strange to them. They say they have never seen it. But remember, John, is it John 14 12? Jesus says, Verily, verily, I say unto you, the works that I do shall you do, and greater works than this shall you do. Because what? I go to my father. So what I should do on here on earth should be greater than what Jesus Christ did. <laughs> Madam, come and ask her. My sister, how are you now? How are you? Huh? I'm fine. How? Uh, how do you know you are fine? Check your body. I feel free. <laughs> she is smiling. Thank you, Jesus. My sister is free. Thank you, Jesus. Ah, she is waving her hand. Why are you waving her hand? Eh? You are... <laughs> Uh, but you were crying just Jesus. now. <laughs> you were crying just now. What now? Why are you smiling now? Man of God, thank you. Eh? <laughs> thank you sir. She knows that something has happened. Yes, she knows that something has been removed. Now she has come back to her original self. Thank you, Jesus. Man of God, thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, man of God. Man of God, thank you. That is why the Bible says, we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, rulers of darkness in high places. These are the powers we contend with. Not your flesh. After all, have you come to this church before? No, sir. Your first time? Yes, sir. How come they put the anointed wristband in your hand? You didn't know yourself again. You were moving around. What happened? I was feeling something like a wind, wind blow. Something like wind blow? Yes. That is a wind of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The, the Holy Spirit blow out all the demons, darkness, that are not of God. They went. Thank you, Jesus. I'm free. Thank you, Jesus. She just said, thank you, Jesus. I am free. I never tell her to say, thank you, Jesus. I am free. She is thanking God. Why? Because she knows that something has happened to her. 
Hide your head. Fine, sir. Carry your head. Sir. Carry your beautiful this way. Uh, wear it. Uh -huh. That chamber is no longer vacant. Finish. It's as simple as that. So you don't need to say they take you to river. They take you to inside bush, inside uh, berry ground. They will say there is one pot you used to bath in the berry ground. They will take you to the village. They will come and blow okodo for you. Book, book, book. What do you call that thing? What do you call that thing? They used to play for you. Eh? Native drum. You will not be saying. You love the dream of me. You say, Puku, 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 if it is not Jesus Christ, it is fake. So that is it. Now, all those hot you have in your vagina, what else do you put in? Everything gone. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. I'm free. So you don't need how many egg? Yes, sir. Eight egg, rub your body, this, this. You are by that you have entered another covenant. Jesus. With your two eyes open. <laughs> With your senses blocked. You by yourself use your hand. Enter another covenant. Lonely inside a room. You were initiated in search of solution. Many people are like this all over today. Hey. The guy came and hold her hand and said, I will go back to my altar. Is the altar a big chamber? From there, you give another one again, pian, because you were vacant spiritually. It's well with you. God bless you. Grace be unto you. Thank you, sir. You are free. Thank you. Thank, Thank you, you, Jesus. I'm free. Thank you, Jesus. I'm free. Thank you. Bye bye. Mm -hmm.